Hello everyone, my name is Spiracle and welcome to Hitman 2. Today we will be heading off to Santa Fortuna to cripple the Delgado cartel by eliminating its three most prominent members. Rico Delgado, who unsurprisingly is the head of the cartel, Andrea Martinez, the brain behind the business side of the operation, and lastly Jorge Franco, the genius chemist behind the cartel's highly successful blue raspberry crack flavour. We'll be starting off at the Shaman's Hut in the jungle, bringing with us only three coins, our pistol, and a metal breed case with a fish in it while leaving our fibre wire dumped in the jungle somewhere. Also I'm not going to make 47 wear that black suit in the Colombian jungle. I'm not a monster. Anyway let's go murder some people. Feel free to join us. Everyone is unequal in the eyes of your spirits. Oh that's so relieving to hear thank you but I can't stick around. I've got to go murder some of my equals. They don't call me the prank master for nothing. Oh my god I want to kill you. But I won't because I have self control. There was a frog there. Well, I think we all know I'm going to focus on this rather than the reason we're actually here. Oh, my apologies. I think you were coming on a little too strong. Dude, I'd watch your mouth. Keep running it like that, you might end up as my fourth target. And you do not want to be my fourth target. We did it. We caught a friend. Uh, I feel so much more secure with him by my side. Now we're ready for anything, including murder. Let's whip the fish out. Although having been in a metal briefcase for this long in this heat, it's probably cooked to perfection by now, actually. Guess we just have to see if it's still good for slapping. Come on, man, that's it. Investigate the coin noise. And fished. Oh, that was a mistake. Briefcase! We may need to restart. I think I need to reassess this. Let's bait both of them away and just sneak in and poison this. Okay, a cheeky little emetic poison in there. And now we play the waiting game. Yes, that's it. Go somewhere nice and secluded. I promise you, I won't hit you with my briefcase. The fish, though. Fish lap. Now we just need to wait for the other guy. Oh, well, he's not sick. He's blessing a pool or something? Or he's fed up? I can't really tell. Oh, well. Alright, let's hide this guy as well. And we're going to want to disguise as him. Now, I have the dong hat. This person's making very suggestive noises and I don't like it, so... it's going to have to knock them all out, I think. Donk. Oh, there are guards. Maybe time for a restart. Okay, now they're walking away. Now we can fish that. Drugs. Ah. Oh, bad. Never do drugs, kids. Never. It's a well-known fact that if you inject even one marijuanas, your likelihood of being knocked out by a fish increases by 500%. It's just not worth the risk. Yes, hello, it is me. Please don't question why my accent and skin colour has changed. Well, looks like we've got a lot more following to do, so I guess that can only mean one thing. No, no, I'm not doing that again. Oh, I do not want to get spotted by that camera. And now's my chance. Here we go. Oh, you got us so much quicker than Sierra Knox did last time. Thank you for that. That is a powerful stance right there. That is a true power stance. Interpretive dance it is. Ah, look at the parrots. So colourful. So majestic. Ah, look at the bus. So colourful. Not quite as majestic. That's not really just some bones, is it? You've kind of just dug up a whole mass grave. Ah, I guess we'll dance for you. Well, this town seems to be completely run by the cartel, so I'm sure you all understand the concept of the first taste is always free. You can see more of these magnificent interpretive dances over on my OnlyFans. For just 10 quid a month, you can get two full 10 second long videos of me doing interpretive dances. And if you want to support me even more, for 30 quid, I'll do it in just the hat. I expect to see you all there. Oh, that went well. Well, actually, that did not go well. Who saw me? Ah, this has gone badly. You're pointing the wrong way. Fish slap. There's that other guy. Shooting a wall. Fish slap. Through the concrete. Fish slap. He fell in the water and drowned. Didn't intend to do that. Come on, more. I need more. Come on, come closer. Gotta make this a fair fight. And... Fish slap. Fish slap. And we're dead. Alright, this should go better. Face brick. I did not go better. Can I just push this button? You'd be alright with that? Oh god, what have we done? Could you let me out please, dude? I did nothing. Don't arrest me, come on. I, lo I, I warned you. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. I'm taking your gun. Look what you've done! I'm gonna push the button. Completely inconspicuous. 
Well, it just goes to show, really. Always wear a hard hat at a construction zone. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work for your outfit. I don't care. Always wear a hard hat. I'm taking a shovel, by the way. But just remember, safety is paramount in such dangerous areas. Well, I can't believe that worked. Oh, frog. Did I get it? I got it. I got the frog. Well, I definitely take back that insult I gave to bodyguards over in Miami. They're not the worst ones in the world. That All that guy had to do was guard a button. And he let me dissolve through him. Just browsing. Those are my tips, man. What the hell? Can't just go around taking people's money, man. What do you mean I can't take your money? I am the tighter! Okay, let's not do that. Let's wait for him to turn around and then take his tips. Well, we could infiltrate the mansion using this guy's disguise, but I don't know. It looks like his hat smells. This poor guard's walked right in between a rock and a hard place. Haha! Oh god, I need to come up with more fish slap jokes. I can't just say fish slap every single time. Although on that note, fish slap. Yes, you go do that, fellow guardsman. I'm going to go check on this statue, if that's alright. Yep, that's me, fellow Mr. Guardman. I need a wrench for this. Well, I'm not doing that entire thing then. Let's go do something else. Sure, I could go just get a wrench, but no. Let's see if we can infiltrate the mansion by going down here. Yeah, I reckon he's close enough now. Bash bash. And I don't have a key card. Oh, never mind. Back up we go. Jesus Christ, Lara Croft's aged. Shoot those cameras out first. I'm I'm still not the right guard for the mansion. I was a street guard, and now I'm an elite guard, and apparently they don't like either of them. So I guess I'll just keep bugging them. Oh god, I wasn't expecting him to come straight out. Yeah, alright. Arrest me. You got me. Psych, you fought. Knock you out. You know what, you've upset me, I'm gonna snap your neck. Oh, thank god these leaves are here to protect me from these bullets. Oh god no, they've realised exactly where I am. Well, we're restarting anyway, you know that. Yes, come out, but where is the pesky ruffian gone? Perhaps that noise over there is where he is. Wait, he's not over there. All that's over there is a jack attack. A jack is a type of fish. Hello, yes, it's me, reporting for duty. Right, Their uniform is literally just a pink shirt and trousers. Anyone could walk in here. In fact, why didn't we just come equipped with a pink shirt and trousers? Oh, hey, there's a wrench. Well, that guy sees through our disguise, so we need to get rid of him before we walk past. And I guess the way to do that is put an emetic poison in the cocaine he keeps taking. That wouldn't work, would it? I wonder if that'll work. That shouldn't work. Probably make him sneeze like mad, but given that he's already taking cocaine, I don't think it's going to affect him much. Ooh, secret tunnel, I like this. Hey, there's a key card down here. That'll come in useful, I'm gonna take that. Chub club. A chub is another type of fish. I hope no one's around to see this, otherwise I might be charged with battery. Wait, what happened? Was there a pool or something? Did I just get electrocuted? So I probably deserved that for that one. Yep, snorting and emetic didn't work, so I guess we just have to go the old-fashioned route. Dace mace. Oh, there was a door back here the whole time. That was all completely unnecessary. Hey, boys! You thirsty? Yeah you are, let's live on in. Did you know they fed it dead bodies for a long time and now it won't come out of its hole unless someone brings it meat? Sounds... useful. Now this sounds like a man who might appreciate a fish joke. This guy actually seems like a pretty decent boss. I mean, sure, he's given the guy a tour of a museum dedicated to him, but he seems pretty chill for a sociopath. Also has a pretty damn good taste in cars. Ugh, finally. I think this is a hippo pen. You won't see it, but I have been searching for a long time. You guys like apricots? Oh, we almost spotted me, that was close. This is very tempting to push over, but I spent so long searching for this place, I'm not gonna mess it up now. Right, he's gone. Now's my chance. Hey man, it's pretty hot in here, you must be thirsty. Ah, oh, bone, that should do it. Quick, hide in the box. Did you just throw your cigarette butt at the hippo? Yeah, I'm gonna hurt you. I don't like having you here anyway, it's too risky. I'm surprised you're so chilled, to be honest. Hasn't anyone told you to look trout for the red snapper slapper who's on the loose? Mackerel, smackerel. And now we wait. I really hope this guy still gets paid. He probably won't, and I shouldn't feel bad because he isn't real and everyone on this level doesn't exist unless I'm here too, but still. And now we're alone. Who's up for a game of Hungry Hungry Hippos? Oh no, I feel bad. Oh no, I feel bad. Couldn't we have just knocked him out? Fucking hell! 
That might be the most brutal thing I've done in this game. It's messed up. I genuinely actually feel bad for that one. <sighs> okay, well, I guess one left to go, I guess. Also, how did no one hear that? Well, you are a slow walker, aren't you? I would have bolted it as soon as I could. Let's change back to this disguise now. It'll be of more use to us. Righteous. Right, let's poison this and go find some glue for the crack bus. I'm sure we won't need to worry about him tasting it anymore. Oh wow, just to the shop her that feels weird to not have to go about this in an overly convoluted way. I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just run out of that item. Okay, well I guess fuck me then. Do you sell glue? That is really not how I would phrase that question to some random bloke. Did you just call me a whore? I speak Spanish, you bastard. Well, actually, that's one of the only words I know, but still. Pollock wallet. Oh, oops, someone saw that. Plus, it wasn't a fish. Should probably take this person out too, just because it's quite likely that she'll see something. Rud fud. Oops, still don't have my fish out. Also, a rud is a type of fish. This probably smells fishy enough now to be counted as a fish, so... Tang bang. You get the drill. A tang is a type of fish. I sense that your guys' relationship is on the ropes a bit, so let me help you spice things up by dumping you both in the love box. You'll thank me when you both eventually regain consciousness. Right, glue time. Hopefully there'll be enough left over to help me forget about that hippo thing. Ah shit, no luck. Oh well. Hippy dude is back, let's bait him in. Please hurry up, this alarm is incredibly annoying. And it's off. No, no it isn't. Just press the button. Okay, now it is. Don't hit me! Too late to ask for that now, bud. The perfect disguise. There is no one more hip than Agent 47. Oh god, why'd you notice me? Ah! Okay, let's be careful this time. Why does everyone notice me? Okay, let's run for it. No one sees me. Am I not cool enough to pass for a hippie or something? I refuse to believe that. Good thing we found that keycard. There's a gun on my back. Everyone notices me because I'm a hippie with an AR slung around my shoulder. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Ah, you're expected. Have a seat. It was really that easy. They welcome me with open arms if I'm not armed to the teeth. Ah, there we go. You're finally here. Did you need to wait for EastEnders to end or something? Because I can teach you how to record stuff if you want. You don't get to talk about annoying delays. Actually, I'll take it all back. He clearly rushed here. He wasn't even halfway through his daily shit and he just pulled up his boxers and rushed down to see us. I'm sorry, old man. Here's your crack bus. Nice. Such disrespect for public transport. Is this going to go down as a roadkill? Any time now. You gonna die yet? There it is. Was it my poison that did it, or the constant cocaine taste All testing? Actually, a better question might be whether he voided his bowels post-mortem or half an hour before, but I won't stick around to find out. Don't forget about the briefcase. I am not leaving this mission by waiting for a bus. No chance. Let's go find something cooler. I didn't even get to use all my fish slap material. I never got to say, let me hit the dab. Oh wait, I just did. It was good. This'll do. And we're out. See, this is infinitely cooler than taking the bus. Four out of five stars. Think we can attribute that to the fact that I was in the mission for an hour and a half, not including the restarts. I wasted a lot of time running around, okay? We don't need to talk about it. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see future content like this. And I hope to see you next time. Cheers.